In the name of Jesus Christ, whose birth we celebrate today, and on behalf of the presidency, Merry Christmas and welcome to this time of prayer. What could be more appropriate than celebrating the birth of the one who came to bring peace on earth with prayers focused on peace originating from this temple dedicated to the pursuit of peace. From Doctrine and Covenants 163, 8a, we read, the temple, an instrument of ongoing revelation in the life of the church. Its symbolism and ministries call people to reverence in the presence of the divine being. Transformative encounters with the eternal creator and reconciler await those who follow its spiritual pathways of healing, reconciliation, peace, strengthening of faith, and knowledge. Today, in our prayers, we remember the people of South Africa, located in the southernmost tip of Africa. While serving as apostle to the Africa field, I visited South Africa multiple times. South Africa has a heart-wrenching history of apartheid, as well as a strong sense of hope for the future. South Africa is diverse in terms of ethnicities, languages, and socioeconomic conditions. There is an organized community of Christ presence in South Africa with a congregation in Johannesburg. Our scripture reading is from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. Our prayer for peace was written by Cassandra Unger, Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. God of grace and wonder, this day we celebrate the birth of your son, the day he came and walked and taught amongst humanity and changed the world as we know it. We celebrate the lessons he taught on how to care for our neighbor, even when that neighbor is someone who we should despise. He taught us to welcome and love all people, even when they are outcasts and sinners, and society says we should turn our backs on them. He taught us to stand up for what is right and just even when it means confronting systems of abuse and oppression, even when doing so can challenge our own safety and status in society. Jesus declared he was here to proclaim good news to the poor. He was sent to bring freedom to those held captive, to return sight to the blind, to release the oppressed, and proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Help us, O Lord, to seek ways as Christ did, to transform the world we live in by challenging systems of oppression and injustice, to love and welcome all people, to care for our neighbors. This is our prayer this Christmas day, in the name of the Prince of Peace, amen. We will now share in the prayers of the people. As we enter a time of guided prayer, meditation, and musical reflection, you are invited to offer silent prayers or meditate during the moments of quiet. 
prayers of the people begin with ourselves and move outward in rippling waves to those we know and love, to strangers and enemies, to the entire world, to all of creation. Will you join with me in this time of prayer and meditation, acknowledging your soul's yearning for God's presence and peace? Silently join your heart with God's. O God of love, grant us your peace. We struggle with insecurities and fears, weighed down with issues that affect our sense of worth and wholeness. Grant us peace that calms the inner turmoil of our souls and affirms that we are beloved. O God of life, grant us your peace. We strive for relationships that are fair, equitable, and filled with compassion. Yet, we often find ourselves enslaved in conflicts with others, even those we love. Grant us the strength to listen with our hearts first that we may grow in deeper connection with those we call friends, co-workers, neighbors, and family. O oh God of hope, grant us your peace. We've grown weary of the sounds of war, violence, oppression, and diminishment of men, women, and children. Yet we fail to heed your urgent invitation to act for justice. Grant us the courage to extend our hands in acts of mercy, service, and peacemaking. We remember all nations, including South Africa, the country we pray for today. O oh God of all creation, grant us your peace. We understand that we are made of the same substance as all living things, yet fail to grasp your vision of the sacredness of creation. Make us more aware and weave us into oneness. Grant us a glimpse of your love for creation in all its forms and the compassion to act in ways that respect and honor the genius of your universe. O oh God of peace, we offer ourselves as vessels of your grace and peace so that from where we stand, waves of your loving presence will emanate to bless your world. In and through Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. <laughs>